Hey everybody, welcome to the DDC Studios YouTube channel. This is DDC owner and publisher David Hayner. And today's show is kind of an important one as the world's kind of been opening back up and we're um, seeing the reemergence of the conventions. And before we get to talking about today's topic, though, we do have a little bit of housekeeping to take care of. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and also ring the bell for notifications. And also, if you are enjoying this video, smash that like button. And also, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Okay, with that out of the way, let's talk about today's topic, which is um, some tips and tricks when it comes to um, tabling at a convention. Uh, with conventions uh, getting kind of back up and running around the country, um, I, I thought this was kind of a, a necessary topic to, to discuss, uh, especially with some of the newer mini comic creators that maybe um, just got started over this past year, so obviously you've never worked a convention before. Um, and so when it comes to conventions, um, stereotypically, that's always kind of been the mini comic creator's bread and butter as far as making a lot of sales in a very short amount of time. Um, so, you know, I, I highly recommend working a convention, um, at least even the smaller ones in your area. And I guess before I get started on um, passing on a little bit of my... Uh, I guess you call it sage advice, I, I do want to throw out one caveat. I am not here saying that you have to table at a convention. You have to make sales at a convention. I'm not saying you have to do anything that I am talking about today. However, I will say this. If you, if you listen to my advice and maybe implement one or two of these things, I guarantee you, you will see an increase in sales. Um, okay, with that said, uh, number one on the list is uh, presentation. Um, I really do recommend, you know, basically getting some signage for your, your mini comic studio or yourself. Uh, you know, whether it be just some simple handmade signs or anything like that, it's going to help you to stand out as opposed to just, you know, having a table with your mini comics there and basically saying, hey, you want to buy what I made? Um, you know, you can also get t-shirts made up extremely inexpensively, um, you know, for like 10 bucks a piece. So if you do have like a studio logo, you know, get a couple of t-shirts made up for you and, and whoever's going to be helping you with the convention. So, you know, you just kind of put forth a little more of a professional sheen, um, you know, to what it is that you're doing. And also, um, on the same note of presentation, um, don't be afraid to, to talk to the convention goers. Um, I do realize that, you know, with us being comic book nerds, um, we're, we're not the most social creatures in the world. And especially talking to folks face to face, um, you know, just to be perfectly honest in this day and age is slowly becoming a dying art form. Um, and I'm not saying you have to do this. I have seen many, many creators with their head down, pretty much the whole convention drawing and, you know, just kind of barely talking to a customer and they still make sales. However, if you were a little more, um, a gre gregarious, a little more outgoing, um, with the convention goers as they come up to the table, you know, hey, how's it going? Check out what we got. Um, hope you dig it. If you got any questions, you know, just let me know. And and you can just, that simple little couple of sentences can go a long way towards actually making sales. Just simply greeting the person when they come up to the table. Um, because also on the same note, you're not going to want to put them in a high pressure situation like a used car salesman to try to make them feel like they have to buy a book from you. Um, because nine times out of 10, that's basically just going to piss the guy off. Um, and I, 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 I'm speaking from experience here as a convention goer. If I go to a table and the creator at that table is giving me a hard sell, um, you know, doing everything in their power to basically guilt me into buying the book, um, I'm just simply going to stop talking, turn around and walk away. 
<laughs> you know, I, I'm going to just straight up extricate myself from the situation. Where if, if he had just simply, you know, been friendly, greeted me, um, you know, maybe even given me the elevator pitch for the book, um, and left it at that, let me check out, you know, the, the preview copy that was sitting there on the table, I, I guarantee you, especially if he was a mini comic creator like he was in this situation, I would have bought the book. Um, because as long as the creator's nice at a convention, uh, I'll let you in on a little secret. If I see you at a convention and you've got mini comics for sale, if you greet me and you're friendly, I will buy one of everything you have for sale. Period. Um, that, that's kind of been my MO since 1998. Um, you know, the year I discovered mini comics. So, um, ju just thought I'd throw that tip out. If you ever happen to be working at a convention, especially in Iowa or the Midwest, and you happen upon me, just, you know, basically say, hey Dave, how's it going? Here's my book. Here's what it's about. Check it out. If you got any questions, let me know. My next question will be is, okay, um, do you, is it cool if I get one of everything and how much is that going to cost? Um, you know, but anyway, um, another really important tip when it comes to uh, tabling at a convention is make sure you print plenty of copies of all the books you're planning on selling, um, prints, what have you, um, but try not to go too terribly overboard. Um, because as I always say, like with anything, when it comes to mini comics, we are a niche of a niche. So we may not make a gigantic amount of sales compared to our, our bigger brothers, if you will, selling traditional comics. Um, you will make some really good sales. Um, and I, I'm also kind of assuming, um, since you are looking at tabling at a convention, you've been to a few of them, probably the same one you're going to table at a few times. So you probably have a fairly good idea of how many people are going to be there. Um, but also kind of on a related note, the other thing you want to make sure you have is some cash on hand. Um, you're going to want plenty of singles, plenty of fives, things of that nature. Um, because there's going to be a lot of people coming up to your table with cash that, you know, they may be spending two, three, five or six dollars, something like that, but they're going to have a $20 bill and that's going to happen a lot. So you're going to want to make sure you can keep making change for folks. And also in this day and age, um, I, I really recommend that, that you have a PayPal account set up as well. Um, because if you got a smartphone with a data plan, you can accept PayPal right there on the convention floor. <laughs> um, and, and, and that's really no fuss, no boss. You know, you, you, you can shoot them the link uh, for the PayPal.me and they can send you the money. You'll see it show up, boom, right in your account. You hand them the books and off you go. You're not even having to deal with cash, uh, which is awesome. Um, should you invest in like a card reader, like Square and things like that? Um, sure. If you can afford it, go for it. Um, quite frankly, I, I'm not a huge fan of that because, you know, you're, you're looking at the processing fees and everything else. So, so um, but, but if, if that's the way you want to go and you can afford it, hey, go for it. You know, any way to make your customer's life a little easier, freaking awesome. Um, and then the, the final bit of advice um, I have when it comes to, to doing a convention stay at your table for the love of God. Um, you're not going to make sales if you're out on the floor checking out other people's booths. Straight up. The only way you're going to make sales is if your butt's in that chair or you're standing behind the table. Um, they're available to make the sales. Um, once again, just as any convention goer can tell you, the, the most frustrating thing in the world is going to a convention coming up to a booth that looks like they're just going to have some real kick-ass comics and nobody is there. And you come back and there still isn't anybody there. And you come back towards the end of the day and they are gone yet again. Um, because you've not only lost out on a sale that day, you know, and God knows how many sales throughout the day by, by, by constantly being gone, um, but you're, you're, you're going to lose out on any possible repeat customers 
for, for the next convention because trust me, there there's about half a dozen mini comic creators that quite frankly in, in past conventions due to them constantly being gone at the very first convention I I was exposed to their work I'd see them at the table and I'd just keep right on walking because you know what's the point um, so you know just stay at your booth um, once again f- follow the Todd Father's advice um, he never got up when he goes to a convention he is always there because he never wants to miss out on a single sale so um this was not a comprehensive list of advice um, for the convention, but it, in my opinion, it's a really good start. If you kind of do at least a couple of these things, you are you are going to see some um, really good sales for a convention. I guarantee it. So um, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, as always, thank you so much for listening. Um, and as always, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. Smash the like button and definitely always leave us a comment, um, both good or bad. We, we love feedback in, in every way, shape, or form. Also, if you're interested in checking out DDC Studios Mini Comics, you can hit the store link down below where you can get every single DDC comic currently in print along with original art. You can also pick up a DDC t-shirt at the t-shirts uh, web store link down below in the description as well where you can pick up your choice of a DDC Studios logo t-shirt, a domain logo t-shirt, and or a Black Owl emblem cosplay style t-shirt for only $20 a piece. So that's going to do it for today's video. Like I said, um, as always, thanks a lot for listening. We're going to have another video up for you here in just a couple more days. Bye.